going to kick it off with a cute dog. Uh, initially, I was confused, but then I read the post and somebody put a little pink doe, a pink doe, a pink doe on their bog. They put a pink bow on the dog's head to make sure that everybody knew the dog was a girl. A big dog with the tiniest little bow. I can't even be mad because it's cute. Hey spuds, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Your first video, I don't know, but welcome either way, it's Jamie. And today we're looking at gendered products. We're looking at the pointlessly gendered things, things that are a bit funny to laugh at because people have gendered them. Oh yeah, all of that wonderful stuff, woo. This is one of my favorite series that I do on the channel. I love diving in to this subreddit category, this type of thing every now and again. Yeah, today is no different, we're just going to look at some things that are funny to laugh at, funny to laugh at. But before we get into today's video, I want to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Pride Counselling. I love Pride Counselling. I've talked about it on the channel before. I think it's a really great thing. Pride Counselling is an affordable online counselling service that is specifically for the LGBTQ plus community. I think one of the biggest worries as an LGBTQ plus person is acceptance. And being accepted and having an accepting counsellor is really important. And with Pride Counselling, it is a given that your counsellor will be knowledgeable and accepting. Plus, all counsellors are fully trained, licensed and accredited with at least three years of experience. If you want to sign up, pop over over to pridecounseling.com forward slash jammy dodger, fill out a quick questionnaire, then get matched to a counsellor who is right for you. And you can schedule video phone or text sessions whenever you want to. Did I mention that Pride Counseling is also more affordable than in-person counselling and there is financial aid available if you need it? For me, I wanted to talk to somebody about my anxiety and I found online counselling really helpful because part of my anxiety is going new places and meeting new people and being able to do this from the comfort of my own home helped massively. If you are interested in checking out Pride Counselling, you can go to pridecounselling.com forward slash jammy dodger or click the link in the description box. Now, back to all the gendered things. Ooh, I am significantly too hot. Wow. GOP senator says roads and bridges are a woman's problem because women do the shopping. We're gendering road structures now. Why? Do men never need to go anywhere? Oh, there's a river there. But no, the men must swim across because bridges are only a women's problem. Or does it only count if there's a shop on the other side of the bridge? This is such a random thing to say. Boys sprinkles, green, yellow. Are the yellow ones like dinosaurs? And then the packaging is blue. Pretty pink sprinkles with love hearts and pinks and reds and everything pink. Well, the two genders there, boys and pretty pink by Mrs. Rogers. Are we sure the boys are going to buy sprinkles that has the name Mrs. Rogers on? <laughs> I don't understand why it's boys and pretty pink. Like, if you're going to gender it, at least do it right. Real men don't say splendid. A lexicon of unmanliness. A book all about things that you say that are actually unmanly. Anybody else from the UK know those adverts that like, you wouldn't steal a car, and it was all about deterring you from like, pirating movies. The real men don't say splendid, I'm pretty sure that's the same text. You wouldn't say splendid. Brown bags equal girls, white bags equal boys. It's not even done right, like it's... What? Why categorise brown and white as being gendered? Serious hair ties for serious hair guys. Superior performance, strength tested, and 60 plus designs to complement your flow. Well, that just sounds like period products. Hair ties for guys. Stop using crappy hair ties. Shop now. What's the, what's the difference? I mean, at least they're promoting that it's perfectly fine for men to have long hair, but hair bands are literally pieces of elastic and they come very plain. Like you can just get whatever kind of hair tie you want. I don't, this is something that really does not need to be gendered. Not available in pink. Yorkie, it's not for girls. Does anybody else remember all the Yorkie adverts? They're not current ads, like they don't still run this campaign, but just seeing it and remembering that like, you'd literally go into a shop and the Yorkie bar would be like that. Imagine if they did that now. Also, didn't they then later bring out some alternative, like a raisin one that is actually in pinky purple wrapping? So they really backtracked on that one. Good. <laughs> Can someone please tell me how Maths for Boys is different to Maths for Girls? Maths Boys Edition, Maths Girls Edition. Right, let's read the list of what is in these books. Addition and subtraction exercises plus colouring pictures for boys aged five to six. Addition and subtraction exercises plus colouring pictures for girls 
age five to six. So it's not the maths that's different. You're gonna learn the same thing, it's just the pictures that you colour in. It's also literally the same cartoon, but just with a different hair, a skirt, and then coloured in different colours. There's minimal effort to actually distinguish these two books. <laughs> they just want to make more money. Daz, are you looking for Mr. Bright? And then they've given a sock puppet eyelashes and heart-shaped lips. The two genders, a white sock with sunglasses and a colourful stripy sock with eyelash, eyelashed button eyes. Yes. Girl, a giggle with glitter on it. Boy, a noise with dirt on it. Is a giggle not a noise? Can glitter not count as dirt? So are these things just the same thing, but one is just slightly more descriptive than the other? Haha. <laughs> but also just the ridiculousness of them. Come on. I'm, like, just a giggle with glitter. A noise with dirt. Do I need to say anything? <laughs> Earrings for men. Earrings for men. Earrings. What makes them for men? My nephew wanted one of these. He likes the colours, but I told him he can't. They're for a girl's room. Do you do any that he would be allowed to have? I'm willing to repaint the bedroom blue if that helps. And they're described as pretty flowers for a girl's room. No, they're just pretty flowers. And if this person's nephew wanted those flowers in those colours, then that is fine, and that should be allowed, and I'm very mad at this person for saying he can't, do you have any he would be allowed to have? Yes, they're in the photograph right in front of you, they're the ones that he said he wanted. They're willing to repaint, re- repaint an entire room because they want to avoid getting a little boy something pink. Go ahead, drink the gendered water. Baby, baby water. They're literally the same thing. Why are we, why are we gendering water? <gasps> oh wow, look at that. Gendered Xbox controllers. Not official Xbox controllers. Mmm, they've even got like the little really old fashioned sex symbols on them. Oh no, I don't like that. Mine, husband. Oh my god, can we please just make pockets? equal. And can dresses and skirts all have pockets too, please? Pockets are very important. Manfulness. It's mindfulness, but for men. So it's mindfulness. These are all the things that are considered for men. A games controller, a slice of pizza, a screwdriver, a wrench, a burger. Uh, I'm assuming that's a beer. I thought it was a coffee cup, but now looking at it again, I think it's a beer. Golf. Ladders. You need to reach a high up place. Well, if you need a ladder, only a man can use it. A surfboard, a tennis racket, and a guitar. Is that a guitar? Oh no. The future of Frozen, now available. Soft serve crafted by robots. <laughs> They've done a pink robot with a ponytail and small feet and a blue robot with a massive like tummy area bulge <laughs> and big feet. I mean, that could just be being pregnant. I'm not really sure what they're going for there. Or I think I'm sure what they're going for there, but they had to keep it PG. The gas guy just rang to say my landlord was sending him round and then remembered my landlord is a woman and said, sorry, lady lord. <laughs> lady lord. They must have been so flustered. Any dude who takes their shirt off like this should be embarrassed. Sit when you pee much. Also, sit when I pee a little. What's wrong with taking your shirt off like that? I, I don't get it. What, is it supposed to be like that? Cause that's just, I don't like that. I feel like it stretches out the neck of my t-shirts. When girls use computers. Looks more like when your grandparents use a computer. I don't think I know a single person of any gender who would enjoy that setup on their computer. I don't know where they got that idea from. <laughs> on that note of me being just completely perplexed, we that's the last one. Mm -hmm. And that's it for the latest instalment of Pointlessly Gendered Products. I don't know what that was, but for some reason I just keep singing really bad little theme tunes in some of these series. Yeah, let me know what you think of this instalment and think about giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing if you want to, but no pressure. Just go leave your comments down below. Let's have a chat. And yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.